First at six, the confession. A mom charged with killing two of her kids spilled everything to police. Beatings, torture, and murder. She admitted to it all, and we do have to warn you, it is graphic and hard to hear. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner is here now with the tales only on seven, Jim. Yeah, just when we thought we've heard it all, this is very, very tough to take. An eight page confession, handwritten. It is Michelle Blair's story, and her reasoning is twisted and beyond. She's also said this confessed in court. Everybody want to know, yes, I did kill her! That's Michelle Blair in court last Thursday, where the state is asking the judge to terminate her parental rights to two living kids, a 17 year old daughter and an eight year old boy. In her confession, she says she killed 15 year old Stoney Ann Blair and 8 year old Stephen Berry because they were harming her youngest son since he was in diapers. She said she asked the kids more questions and then, quote, I went back upstairs and started punching Stephen till he said he would tell the truth. How long has Stephen been in the freezer? I want to say two years. How long has Stoney been in the freezer? About one year. She died May 25th, but I don't remember the year. It's a blur. When did Stephen die? August 30th, maybe 2012. In court last week, Blair said Stoney had been harming her youngest son and put poop on his head. Back to the confession, quote, what exactly did you do to Stephen? Punched everywhere. I choked him. I kicked him. And she described scalding him with hot water in the bathtub. She said he died about a week later and that it was witnessed by two kids. The confession continues. At any point, did you contact the police? Yes, just to give them, the kids, a scenario about what would happen. If one sibling is abusing another, they would go to juvenile. Did you call for medical assistance? No. Why not? Because I was scared. After you finished holding him, what did you do with Stephen's body? I wrapped him in his favorite Paul Frank comforter with monkeys on it and put him in the freezer. Did the other kids see you do that, put Stephen in the freezer? No. What did you do with your daughter, Stoney? I punched her so hard because she was still doing that to the youngest son. The confession moves through time and details are too gruesome for TV. Did she stop breathing at some point? Yes, that's what did it. That's what I did to kill her. Did anyone else witness this? No. What did you do with the body, Stoney's body? I put her in the freezer on top of Stephen. I didn't wrap her with anything. She later showed the living kids the bodies in the freezer. What was their reaction? The daughter was crying a lot. The son, who is now only eight, was just looking at me and said, you're going to be in trouble. The confession was signed Michelle Blair at 6.51 p.m., about eight hours after her arrest on March 24th. Now, she also said in this, she told anyone who asked about the missing kids that they were living with her aunt, and she told Detroit Public Schools that she dropped them from school because she was moving out of town. So, I mean, it's just horrible to hear and to think that an eight-year-old is saying, Mom, you're going to be in trouble. She has more sense than Mom. I mean, but what happens next in this case? Well, two things. She's back in court tomorrow. It's that ongoing custody case. The state wants to terminate her parental rights for her two living kids. Then she's back in court in a couple of weeks on the criminal case. And the issue first off is, is she mentally competent to stand trial? Jim Kirshner, thank you.